Greetings and welcome back to The Infected. And I have been busy. I've actually been busy through the entire winter, since it is now March and spring. It was very boring. You didn't want to see it. It involved, yeah, lots and lots of rocks. As a matter of fact, look at how many rocks that I uh, turned into iron. As a matter of fact, I had to make a third one over here because there were so many of them. And that includes making an extractor over here. As you can see, I did what I said I was going to do, and I actually haven't taken any iron out of it. I have taken stones out of it because, you know, I needed stones. Uh, because I wanted you to, to see exactly what kind of production it gets. So if you can see, you know, you basically you get some fragments, but you do get a lot of iron ore. And iron ore is very important because you actually need iron ore along with lead ore in order to make steel. Once it's an ingot, it's not really useful for that. It's useful for a lot of other things. We're going to be doing some stuff with that, by the way. But uh, you do need the actual ore in order to make steel. And we're going to need to make a lot of steel. You might also notice that I have been working here too. And there's a bird there. I don't know if you noticed that. And I've extended this out here. And I've even extended here. And you might notice I've murdered a lot of trees. I actually started over here. But they just kind of grew back. I'm okay with that. Really, I am. I'm okay with that. Uh, I was last uh, terrorizing that area over there, which is the reason it's so empty. Keep an eye on them growing back. I'm sure that they will. Uh, the, um, the saw benches over there are also full. They can't take any more because I am preparing for construction. As a matter of fact, I have decided... You going to stay there, bird? I don't need feathers at the moment. I'm going to do my extension here first. I'm going to take this out here and around. I may just end here for now and then worry about taking it out later. I do, I don't want to go all the way up though because I want to have like at least a partial terrace up here because I want a place where I can take my crops outside, put them there and let Mother Nature rain on them. That way I don't have to worry about stuffing them with water, which is, uh, looks like it's about to rain actually, to demonstrate how very useful that is, right? Another thing I want to do is I want a place where I can build this, a water basin. I figure I'll put it out with the crops. I think the rain fills that up so that you can actually take water from your flask and put it on your crops for times when it isn't raining, you know. And then, of course, when winter comes, I'll just take them all back inside. So I'll have a door out there. And also push this room and this room all the way out here. Now, when I build this section, which will probably be next, you know, I'll probably knock out that wall right there and use this as like a major storage, maybe crafting area or something like that. Although this area is pretty big into crafting. When it comes all the way out here, I don't know, maybe I move the forge over here. Uh, I have stuff upstairs, of course, but then again, we have more crafting stuff to make because I want to make toys because I'm sick of grinding all this stuff and saving it all. I want to use it. Yes, I want to use it. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? So I want to build some things. One thing that I really want to build is the circular saw because I have no idea how it works and everybody tells me it's amazing. So why don't we just go take a look at it uh, because I'm sure I have what I need to make it. And that's here, the circular saw bench. Okay, that's going to be eight iron ingots, two cobalt. By the way, I have not picked up my uh, cobalt or my uh, aluminum yet. So I'm thinking what we might do for the next episode is we might flash down to both of them, grab all the stuff, and then go over to the cave. We'll take a look in a moment. Because, like I said, for steel, I need lead ore. I don't have any lead ore. I have lead ingots. But, uh, and then we're going to take two cobalt, four mechanical, four electrical. All right, so let's just, uh, like here, like this. Is this the way it goes? All right. I can move this later, but I figure for now, why don't we leave it here? Because, after all, it's close to the logs. Okay, I guess you put logs in here, and the boards come out here. Oh, that would be very convenient. 
You could just dump a whole bunch in there. Okay, so let's get stuff. Uh, first things first, where is... Is down here? Last... No, actually... Okay, I, I, I hear you. I gotta do something about this. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. <sighs> Give me my arrow back. He gave me nails. A lot of nails. Actually, it looked like 15 for a moment. Uh, by the way, I have a full component of arrows, another thing that I grinded out. I even have an extra one. Yes, I have a counting problem. Okay, so let's go back to what we were doing. I was looking for my mechanical and... There they are. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I needed two of these. One, two. By the way, get that out of my hand. Um, yes, yeah, stone. We're going to do something about that, by the way. I think I needed eight. We'll start over here because I do have more than eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Hopefully it doesn't rust while it's out here. All right. So let's see. Okay, and there we are. Oh, that takes oil. I'm guessing it doesn't mean bio. That could be a bit of a problem. All right. Well, it really depends on how quickly it burns through it, doesn't it? I think it's here. No, there it is. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to grab one because I have 12 left. I'm saving that for gasoline just in case, right? All right. So let's take uh, oil and drop that in. Okay. So it needs four oil to fill. The question is, how quickly does it drain, right? All right, so you, you, you. Okay, I can't jump, but I can put them right here, right? There we go. Oh, up we go. All right, so let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. It made four? Okay, because those guys there only make two. Oh, wow, that's... That's really good. Let's just do a little bit more here and watch this. And I guess when it fills up, it goes over to this one. So, okay, so that's twice as much planks. But again, at the cost of oil, how quickly... I want it to go through the full six before we see what it did to the oil. Okay, I want that last one. Okay, wow, that just filled the whole thing. Oh, it even went to the next one there. Okay, now let me just see. That's not bad. It didn't really move very much at all, and it did give us a lot of planks, which is good because, like I said, I'm going to start building right over here. So I'm going to need a lot of logs. I'm going to need a lot of planks. And I think I made mistakes when I was making this because I was using outside walls. I think there's inside walls. There's a door. Yeah, like there's an interior frame and there's an interior um, wall. So I should have been using those. So I'm going to be ripping most of this out anyway. Uh, the only thing I'm really likely to keep is these sections here because I'm just going to grow off of it. And I always want to have the uh, pond in my backyard, you know, like that. As a result of that, I thought we'd do something else, too. Because, like I said, I want to, uh, I want to start doing some upgrading. Uh, we're going to do two forms of upgrading. We're going to do a little upgrading on the base, but then we're going to upgrade my tools, too. So let's just take a quick look here for a minute, because what I'm looking for is the upgrade tool. That's one stick and one ingot. So we're going to grab an ingot, and I'm sure that I have an extra stick. There we go. All right, I'm guessing I make it here. Okay, upgrade tool, right? Hello? Hello. Oh, I don't, have, I don't have any space. Okay, that's the problem. All right, why don't we take the pickaxe and put it over here? Oh, I messed that up. Pickaxe, put it there. You know, I might as well just do that with that because we're going to be getting a new one anyway, right? All right, let's try that again. And boom, there we go. All right, so 
There it is. It's not the hammer for repairing. What this does is you go over here and it tells you what you need to upgrade it. If you look on the lower left, it's saying I need 10 dry bricks. Okay, the doorway needs six dry bricks. Guess what I've been making? Dry bricks. Um, I am going to need a clay gatherer as well though. Okay, so we got 10 here. I got five. Let's just do one more and make that six. Okay, so we'll do the door frame. Ooh, nice. The door would take eight iron ingots. I will live with the wood. Okay, so this one here is 10. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So like I said, I'm just, I'm not going to do these because I'm going to tear them out anyway. But this whole side here, although I might put windows up above, there's a good question. I think that I do want a window there. I will have to build a window for it though, using glass and such. Actually, I do have the extra glass, but you know, I might need it for something else. So that's how you do the upgrading. And that's the reason I have some extra bricks in there. All right, let me put this thing away because we're not going to be using this. Oh. The other thing that I need to start getting into, if you look at this, this needs cement. So that's something I'm going to have to start getting into. And I do believe that the mixer requires power. So hold on a second. Will you hold on to that. Let's just take a look at that and see. Placeables. I think that's in other. The mixer. Okay, so that requires 40 power. So the thing is, I can't make cement until I have power and have made that. So I'm going to one reason I want to get things flowing here and get things set because maybe I also on the terrace, maybe I also want to put some uh, like turbines or something like that to just get some basic power going. Nothing crazy, but I do need to get mixers if I want to protect my foundations, which is the thing that they actually attack when they can get to it, right? Okay, now for something, yeah, a little bit better. Um, I'm getting sick of the um, stone tools. I really am. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an iron axe and an iron pickaxe. So for that, we're going to have to make the iron pickaxe head, which is two ingots, and the iron axe head, which is three. That doesn't make any sense. Why would a iron pickaxe head be less than an axe head. This goes through stone and has to be a huge heavy thing. This is for slicing with a blade into like wood. It should be reversed. This should be more. Okay, I, I really think they should look into that. Uh, of course, this is a steel um, spearhead. I don't think that there is an iron spearhead. Although there is a... Um, a katana, right? Do you want to get that close to them? Not really. Uh, eventually, I guess we're going to do a crossbow. I mean, we could do it now. Oh, I don't have steel. All right, I'll worry about one thing at a time. Um, I think that there's... Is there any upgrades for these guys? No, I don't think so. But there is something that I noticed over here. Where is it? It's in other... This, a grinder. Sharpen steel and iron tools. I'm guessing that means that you can repair your tools. Please correct me if I'm wrong about that. But I'm sick of stone tools. All right, so let's get some of this. All right, I guess that means I need five, right? I need two for the ax. I need two for the pickaxe head, and then I need three for the axe head, which doesn't make any sense at all. No, it doesn't. All right, one, two, three. All right, so let's do this. Oh, is, oh, no, that's over here. That'd be over. No, no, not here. Not here. There, right there. There we go. All right. I was thinking, do I do that on the workbench? When I put the axe together and I put the pickaxe together, probably, but not for the heads. All right. Let's see. Okay. Uh, iron pickaxe head. I mean, look at the size of that. Yeah, it looks bigger, but it's not like that in real life. All right. All right. So one, two, I think it's just a stick then. Okay, put that over there. Okay, maybe I need to do that in the advanced bench. Or maybe I... If I did it in my hands, it would work there. All right, well, let's just assume we need the advanced workbench for that. 
Yeah, there you go. Boom and boom. Okay, so there's the ox and there's the pickaxe. Hopefully they'll degrade much slower. Matter of fact, let's take a quick look. Um, okay, the durability is 100. Well, that's the way that I do that. I was thinking, is that hit points? Probably not. All right, well, let's see how this does on one of those little trees, because I think we got some more here. I'd like to see how quickly we can cut through this. Oh, wow. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, that was two hits. It used to be four, I believe. All right. Um, yeah, we'll just put them back here for now because these are full. Yeah, no reason to use these anymore. As soon as they're empty, I don't know. I mean, using them is a waste because, I mean, it does half as much as that over there. I'm better off just taking a whole bunch and putting them in there, you know? By the way, do I have this still on? Yeah, I did. And we have a bear, but he is walking in the right direction. Is that a bear or a pig? That looks like a bear. Right. I think he heard me. He just cut. What? Okay, something just attacked. Oh! Okay. They're starting to think. I'm concerned. Okay, I, I, well, you know what? I'll do something with it. I have a pile somewhere. What did he do? Oh, he just ran through this. And then he ran around to get to me. You know, I'm going to have to put a fence over here. Something, because um, they seem to want to come around to here because I guess they know that they can't reach anything good. I'm not sure if he was coming for me or coming for something else. One way or another, uh-oh. We're going to have to do something about that. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill you, dude. Sorry. Oh, you're... No, 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 no. Okay, he's destroying... He was destroying that thing. I guess there's a good reason not to keep those things down there. Uh, probably also the, um, the logs as well. Okay, uh, one, two, three, harvest a bear, four. Okay, so, is this damaged? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't register as damage. It says 20 of 20, so I'm wondering, if he just destroyed this, would I lose all these planks? Yikes. All right, you know what we didn't do? We didn't test the, okay, first things, let me put the, the stuff away here. Hold on a minute. Where is... We'll put that in there. Okay, I think these are... Stone. Oh, and then the bone. I actually used some bones when I was... Uh, uh, making my arrows. Okay, how much space do I have? Okay, shouldn't be a problem. Alright, what I want to do is... I want to see how the pickaxe does... In terms of stone... All right. Uh, you'll notice I've been working on them. Okay, so let's see. Oh, once again, that's about half. So, stones are very useful. Hopefully, they'll... I mean, they're going to be useful anyway because you grind them up for sand. So, is that another dead bird? Yeah, birds are just dropping dead around here. It must be the, uh, the pollution from these things. I feel very sad about it. Uh, what do you got for me? All right, I've been taking the stones out of there. I also, like, I have an extra rack of copper now. So that's the reason I need to start building things because I'm just stacking up all these resources instead of actually building things, and I don't want to be doing that here. Okay, I can't hold any more there. All right, so let me just uh, put that there. Yeah, you know, coal is great for these. It just, boom, fills it all the way up. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty full right now, so I'm not going to mess with that. Right, so what I want to do is I want to have a door there leading out on the terrace. I can take all these guys here. Uh, they're all ready. Okay, this one is not ready. Do I have... 
All right. Because the thing is, once you move them, all the water is gone. So I want to harvest them and then move them. So, but I want to build the thing on the outside first before I knock it through. And how am I doing for food? I'm actually very thirsty, so we're going to do that. And, oh, oh, I got to do some cooking. Right, because we killed a bear. Yeah, it'll be nice to have fresh meat for a change instead of, um, instead of this stuff here. I think that's from last year, actually. All right, eat some corn. Yeah, my energy's a little low because I got up early this morning. That happens when you wake up, um, when you go to bed early, you wake up early. All right, let's see, there we go. And I think that, uh, okay, you know, I might as well turn this on because I do have water in there to cook too. Okay, so this thing is awesome. Now, is there anything else that we wanted to build? Let's take a quick look around here. Placeables. All right, we got that. We got that. We got that one. Why the chemistry table? I mean, I don't really need that yet, and I think I'll wait until I'm actually going to use it for something. Until then, I don't really need it at all. Um, I'm thinking of building another one of those over there because a um, constant flow of iron is just a really good idea. The thing about it is I'm going to have to do a lot of planting in order to um, have a lot of spoiled food. Um, in the case of killing the bear, I kind of wanted the fresh meat. But normally I'd probably just put it in a box and let it rot because the meat does go pretty quickly. It only takes 30 minutes. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this. And, uh, you know, you can upgrade these as well. Uh, it's just at the moment... Do I have anything? I don't have anything here for now. I need rope. I need the... Um, I can get one of these things over here now. And then I need sticks. Yeah, the other stuff I can get fairly easily. Because uh, I got a ton of stick inside. I have a lot of fiber so I can make as much rope. Oh! Hold on. There we go. Fortunately, she didn't hit it that very much. Okay, where's my... Okay, she had rope. Well, you know, that's actually a little convenient. Because we can just put the rope right in there. All I need is sticks. And I thought I saw sticks on the ground. Uh, where is my... Uh... There it is. I don't want to lose my uh, bone arrows. I spent a long time making them one at a time. Although, I'm not sure. Is there a batch way of doing that? Bulk items. You can do that. Well, you get five at a time. Still, it's better than one at a time, right? So you put the five of each one on the, um, the advanced workbench, and you can get five at a time. Okay, well, th that's good to know. Uh, I think the crossbow bolts, the crossbow bolts, you, um, you can make ten at a time on that. But I need steel for that. So I don't have steel flowing yet. We're going to have to go to the cave. Okay. More arrows. Boom. And boom. We'll do that in the next episode. What it is, we'll drive down. We'll drive down. I'll push my cart down there. We'll grab whatever aluminum we have. Probably some coal, too. We'll put it in these guys. And then we'll go and we'll get some cobalt. And after that, we'll come back after we've dumped everything. And then we'll head over to the cave. We haven't been to the cave yet. That is where you get lead ore. Apparently, you basically just get as much as you want because um, it just kind of respawns. And from what I understand, you can actually drive the, uh, the wagon right in there. You know, you can just carry it in there with the and just pick it all up. Now, there are dangers. Apparently, there's like scorpions in there. I don't know if they... They poison you or something, but they do do damage. So it's important to keep an eye open for that. So, yeah, that's what we'll be doing. All right, so I am going to start working on this. Um, I think that watching construction is kind of boring, especially if it gets to the point of like, oh, I'm out of materials. Now you're going to have to watch me get materials. So I think it's just better to let you know what I want to do, and that way you can see it. 
Maybe what we'll do is we'll move the, um, the crops out sometime when I get to all the construction done on this. And then I'm going to have to make another layer of foundations. You can see I've already made room for that because uh, I don't want them hitting on the walls. Of course, I've got to do something about them running around here and doing whatever it is that they were doing. Okay, that's actually damaged. I have to do something about that. Was this damaged? I mean, it ran right at me, so it didn't really get a chance to do it. Oh, wow, that one needs some fixing. I'm going to have to look into that. Hopefully it needs planks. I can make a lot of those now. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So we have a new toy here, which is very efficient and is going to help with the building process. Um, I do also, I think I mentioned it, I want to get the, uh, the clay extractor too because I'm going to need a lot of clay to make a lot of bricks in order to make, um, you know, a lot of um, upgrading. And then, of course, I need some kind of power going. So when I have this terrace over here, I very well might put my first power collectors out there. Uh, I don't have the wind turbine, but I do have the solar panel. Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't use real physics because I'm pretty sure that the sun rises over there and if I put them here, yeah, it's not going to work properly, you know? Except, of course, we'll catch, like, sunset. I don't know. I, I don't know if it actually does real stuff with that, you know? Maybe it's just you have it, you get X amount of power. That's not the way solar really works. It's like for one hour a day for solar, you'll get maximum. Everything else is not so great. And if it happens to be cloudy during that one hour, well, you're out of luck then. And we got our new tools here. We got this wonderful uh, iron axe, and then we got an iron pickaxe. I have to make that grinder thing to see whether or not that's actually going to do repairs for me. I'm hoping that it does, because uh, I don't want to have to keep spending a whole bunch of stuff in order to make better tools. Uh, I don't see any steel ones. Maybe that'll come in the future. I mean, the only things I see for steel, I see the... Um, the bolts? No, it actually doesn't do the bolts. Where is this one here? The spear. I don't, I don't see anything else here except, of course, for the crossbow. You do need steel for a lot of things, but I would like steel um, tools. I think that would be cool. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Next episode, we'll probably go off to the cave after we check on our extractors and, of course, refill them. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.